Have you ever wondered how gears change inside a car's gearbox? Today, we're going to understand that deeply, thoroughly, and in the simplest way possible. Where did the concept of gears come from? The story of gears begins with the lever. And the story of the lever begins with a legendary quote by Archimedes, Give me a long enough lever and a place to stand, and I will move the earth. And truly, the world did move. Now the real question, what is a lever? A lever is a simple machine that helps us do more work using less force. There are three types of levers. Class 1. Class 2. Class 3. They all have three main parts, load, effort, and fulcrum. When engineers attached a lever to a wheel, they got a mechanism that moved up and down. But what they needed was continuous motion. And that's when the idea of gears was born. They connected a small gear to a large one and magic happened. Less speed, more torque. Gradually, engineers refined the shape of gear teeth, reduced friction, and developed many different types of gears. But one challenge remained how to transfer power at 90 degrees? This was solved by Kate Gleason, a pioneering engineer. She created gears that could transfer power at right angles. Now let's get into the actual gearbox system. There are three main shafts in a gearbox. Engine shaft, which provides power. Drive shaft, which turns the wheels. Counter shaft, the middleman. You might wonder why not connect engine shaft directly to the drive shaft? Because we need to control the vehicle's speed. In the gearbox, some gears are always in contact, but the gear on the drive shaft is initially free spinning like that friend who looks busy but never actually helps. It just shows off by spinning without doing any real work. Only when the clutch sleeve engages it, it starts transferring power to the wheels. To increase speed, we shift to higher gears eventually connecting the engine shaft directly to the drive shaft using top gear. Now let's talk about reverse gear. A special gear is added, which doesn't look like it's doing much, but silently does the job. It reverses the rotation, making the car go backward. Changing gears while the car is moving isn't easy because all gears spin at different speeds. So engineers invented a solution the synchronizer. It's a small metal part shaped like a bottle cap. It matches the speed of the gears before engaging them, allowing smooth and safe gear shifting. So that's the full journey from levers to speed.